Hi everyone and welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, how digital analytics trackers are working and how you can create your own. So basically, when uh, you are using an analytics software, you kind of surprised when you are seeing the data, which are the ones that you can see here, right? Like um, it's Google Chrome, it's the plugins which are used on this given uh, browser of the visitor and so on and so forth. In fact, all those information, uh, you may wonder how they are collected and uh, where do they lie and so on and so forth. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to know about trackers is that the value that you can see within the analytics report are stored within what we call a database. Okay, so database look like uh, what uh, you have up here. So for example, here is a database for WordPress, but you have of course databases for uh, analytics solution. And um, this is where all the data are lying. So this is where you get like uh, the date of connection and as well uh, the kind of browser which is used and so on and so forth. Uh, here, for example, is a, is a tiny database that I created, where, as you can see, you have uh, the user agent, so Mozilla, you have the page URL, which is called, and many other valuable information. So that's the first thing that you need uh, to understand. You need to have a database somewhere in order to store the data that the tracker is going to collect, and that every time that you are going to look at the report, whatever it is, it's going to query this given database. Okay, um, so in order to collect the data for your database, you need to have a kind of a, a page or let's say a script, which is here in order to collect uh, the data and send it to the server. So this is what I have over here. I have a script. So this script is in, in PHP. So PHP is a server-side programming language, which means that this is a programming language in order to discuss with a database and what this script is doing over here is discussing with my database in order to say, okay, what are the kind of data that I would like uh, to write within the database that you can see up here. So here I created a database, so here I'm using uh, the PHP MyAdmin uh, interface. It's, it's very easy to create a database. Just go over here, you click on new, and then you just uh, call it whatever you want, right? So my DB1, for example, and then you click on create. So it's gonna create your, your database, and then you just specify how many columns uh, that you would like to create, what's gonna be the name of your uh, table. So table for analysis, for example analysis and then it's going to ask you okay what kind of data will you like to put in column number one column number two column number three column number four so for the sake of uh, this example what i did is i just created a basic tracker which is made of uh, four columns as you can see you have an id because you always have an id which is here in order to uh, record somehow every every connection which is made and i want to get the time of the connection i want to get the url and I would like as well to get the user agent. So that's why here I created the database and this database has one table composed of four columns. Okay, so that's what you need to know. Then you need to have a script, as I previously mentioning, where you indicate, in fact, what are the credentials in order to write within your database. So for example, here, uh, the credential that you can see over here are the one in order to access this given uh, UI that you can see over here. Right? So that's the location of my database. That's my... I log in, that's my password, and here's the database where I would like uh, to send the data to. Okay, then you need uh, to create a connection, so between your script and uh, the, the server. So this is what this function is doing. Just to let you know, I'm not a developer. So all these codes, I just take it out um, from the internet directly. And here, this is where you are indicating what are the data that you would like to write. So here, for example, you are mentioning, okay, I would like to get the date, okay, here I would like to get the URL, and here I would like to get the user agent. Okay, so how is it possible that I knew that uh, here uh, the function has to be written this way? The answer is uh, it's written within the official PHP documentation. So over here within the PHP official documentation, you are getting, in fact, all uh, the information that you want. So for example, in my case, uh, if I want to grab the uh, user agent, here it's telling me how I should proceed. So this is how I knew how I should write this given uh, sentence over here. So in fact, here this script is in, is in order to write within the database specifying uh, the different value, which are in fact the value which are collected by the server when the HTTP connection is made. So when, for example, you as a given visitor are going on a given website, your computer is talking for you and um, giving information to the server in order 
uh, for the request to be processed. And this is basically all the data that you find uh, through uh, logs. So it's uh, all about the, the date, it's all about uh, the uh, page which is requested, it's about the user agent, it's about uh, your IP address, uh, the language uh, configured within your browser, uh, and so on and so forth. So this is why um, I succeed in grabbing all those three data over here. Uh, here is just a sentence in order to say, okay, in which column I would like to write within the database. So here, for example, I'm saying, okay, I want to send it within this given column, which is connection time page URL user agent. And here are the different um, value variables, which are just above. And then this is the connection clause. So that's it uh, for the script, which is here in order to collect the data. Then on your page, okay, so the page of your website, you need to find a way to communicate uh, to this given uh, script. So I'm going to make it uh, as a simple example in order to start. If I would like, on a, let's say, on an Hello World web page to send the data to my server, um, if I wanted to do it in PHP tracking code, all I need is just to have a given page. So I'm, I'm just going to go back here on my server. I'm just going to uh, show you the page that I created. So it's called um, uh, it's called php example.php. Okay, that's the one that you can see here, and here is my tracker. Okay, so um, this is my Hello World page, for example. So if I just go on it and I go uh, do a nano php example, uh, what you can see here is I have a web page which is called Hello World with a php tracker. So here's just basic text, and here I put my function. So for example, uh, you, when you use an analytics solution, most of the time you copy and paste JavaScript tracking code. Okay, so that's uh, the equivalent of this given GS if you are doing it in PHP. So as a result, um, if I go on my web page right now, so I'm just gonna check with you this. As you can see here, I'm on the line 26. Okay, so there's no line 27 at the moment, but uh, if I go on my given uh, page which is going to be this one so it's going to be named it's php example i said so php example okay i'm firing this given page so this is a php tracking code so uh, what is great with php is that there's no code which is displayed so it's very good to use php if you would like to uh, track a user uh, without them knowing that you are tracking them um, and if i refresh my page i will get the 27s as you can see uh, with all the data that I want. I do not get the user agent because I changed a little bit my, my code, but uh, as you can see, the data have been sent properly. And the reason why it has been sent is because it was including the given PHP file. Okay, that's the thing. Um, but most of the time when you are dealing with analytics, you never use uh, the PHP tracking code, or at least you will use it only for advanced use such as e-commerce tracking. Um, most of the time you use the HTML tracking code. So this is what we're going to see right now. And in order to use an HTML tracking code, so it's basically very useful when you don't have the possibility to add JavaScript. So most of the time you use it uh, on guest blogging or emailing. Um, in fact, you include your HTML tracker like this. Okay, You include it within an image. So this is what we call sometimes a pixel, a one by one pixel. Um, because here you have the possibility actually to um, include a given file. And this is what we have over here. As you can see, it's still the PHP tracker that I'm included, but I'm including it through an image. So as a result, I'm going to go back on this. Um, yeah, as you can see now, it's 27. Okay, 27. And I'm going to load my uh, tracker, which is the, I think it was named Hello World. Okay, Hello World.html. Okay, so this is my Hello World page. And as you can see, this page is including my tracker.php. And uh, if I look over here now, I should have my number 28. And as you can see, number 28. And as you can see here, I'm getting the, uh, the title of the page in the world. And the reason is that it's just a bespoke uh, tracker that I created where I have an additional parameters. And this additional parameter is then grabbed uh, through PHP. I'm gonna show you like this. Um, it's uh, tracked, sorry for that. I'm just gonna go back, I'm just close this one, I don't need it. Um, so if I do like a nano 
nano and it's tracker.php as you can see it's uh, grabbed thanks to this given parameter so uh, through the question mark uh, title that you saw i'm sending in fact a parameter to the php tracking code that i'm then grabbing with the php uh, tracker file in order to have it inserted within my um, database and the last but not least okay probably the most important of all because this is what most of digital analytics solutions are working with this is the javascript tracking code so the javascript tracking code is very powerful because you can use in fact uh, the different properties of the browser and that's the kind of thing that you cannot do in pure php so for example with javascript you can easily grab this what i did over here uh, the width for example and the height of uh, the browser of uh, the, the user and uh, you can then uh, send it as uh, a post uh, request it's what i did here i used here jquery in order for the um, tracking code to be not very long because if i was doing it in pure javascript this script will have been so long that it will be, have been difficult for me to explain it and this is how you do it in fact in in javascript so um, how could I know that it was this given structure to write over here? Uh, well, you find it on a um, website talking about JavaScript. So for example, this one on W3School, you see like this, when you look through the documentation, you know that, okay, there are a lot of different elements that you can uh, grab here and there and insert them through, um, through your uh, JavaScript. So um, now if I go on my, on my page, so I'm just gonna show you uh, the uh, JavaScript code, so it's uh, called jQuery. Okay, jQuery. That's over here. Okay, so as you can see here, I have my script which uh, go and fetch the jQuery library, and here you have my, my script as a Matomo or Google Analytics script, uh, which is inserted on the page. So the only thing that we care about, in fact, are uh, those. Uh, two things plus this part, okay? This is the one doing all the magic. In fact, when the script is loaded, it's sending an HTTP post request to tracker.php with uh, those data included. So with the information uh, resolution, two points, and then it's, uh, in my case, it's the W, so this is the width plus uh, the height. And as a result, what's gonna happen now is if I go on this given uh, page so it's tracker and then it's uh, jQuery like clicked, okay so I go on this so this one is just an alert uh, if I go on this given page okay uh, what is happening is that it's sending the data as post request within um, within my database so that's not the case here and the reason is that probably I play a little bit with the script so I'm gonna uh, just modify it right now so it's sudo and uh, we said this was a tracker.php okay so i'm gonna go in this tracker.php i'm gonna debug it so uh so edit okay and so here probably uh, it's just that i did not include the resolution so i'm gonna include a resolution like over here so resolution and this is what I mentioned over here. You see, get the resolution for the JS tracker. Uh, by the way, never forget the semicolon at the end. If not, you'll get crazy because here we are dealing with PHP, which means that um, every time that there is an error, your website is uh, fully broken. And it's, I mean, you need to add some additional lines of code in order to know where the error is. And it's kind of taking some time if you're not that experienced as I am. Uh, okay, so here, uh, we are getting the resolution now it should be fine and if i'm going back oops go back on jquery okay yeah blah 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 and now if i look through my database and if i'm lucky enough i will get my resolution sent to the right uh, column so of course it's not the right one because i did not uh, let the user agent but as you can imagine you can create as many columns as you want in order uh, to be able to recreate everything that you have over here, right? So such as the IP address, such as the time of connection, such as the technology behind the plugins, which are installed on the, on the browser and so on and so forth. I mean, all those data are within the HTTP request. So you can easily grab them uh, either through PHP or either through uh, JavaScript, if you would like to get more data. And then uh, after you need to process all those data out in order to make some 
uh, beautiful reports. And that's it uh, for today. So I hope that my explanations were clear. Um, as an exercise, yes, just try to explain to someone what you understood about this video. I mean, how JavaScript and HTML and PHP trackers are working for a digital analytics solution. Once more, thanks for watching and do not hesitate uh, to create your own video and share them on social networks.